Okay, Psalms 45, verse 5. Okay, Psalms 45, verse 5. Let's read it together. Mm -hmm. Razor sharp arrows leap from your bow to pierce the heart of the king's foes. They lie defeated before you. Amen. And it also says, I, I don't know. Okay, better read it. Oh God, okay, yeah, oh God, your throne is eternal. Yeah. You should sharp arrows into enemies' heart. That's message. That's nice. The king's foes lie down in the dust beaten. But I think this translation suits my purpose. Razor sharp arrows. Razor sharp. Wow. Razor sharp arrows leap from your bow to pierce. Yeah, it talks about a lot of activity, a lot of high energy, talks about, you know, wow, watching a war movie, battle movie. Yeah, it's like watching Gladiator, yeah, bloodthirsty. <laughs> Yeah, this is how it is. This is real battlefield, yeah. Pierce the heart of the king's force. The lie defeated before you. This one was written by, by one of the sons of the Korah, not by King David. Supposed to be a love song to the tune of the lilies. White lily-like flowers. Shoshanim, perhaps the melody to which the song is sung. Wow. And it also says it's, it's set on sopranos, means Hebrew word alamoth, meaning is uncertain, perhaps young women singing in high pitch. And it's a musical direction from the Hebrew word root meaning to lift up high. Lift the voice high. Wow. Connecting to Psalms 148, 49 and Psalms 150. Okay. Oh God, your throne is eternal. You will rule your kingdom with a scepter of justice. You have loved what is right and hated what is evil. That is why God, your God, has anointed you with the oil of gladness. God has anointed Jesus. It all, talk, it's all, it all talks about Jesus, I mean, little did the sons of Korah knew, Korah knew that talks about Jesus because they had no idea about Jesus in the Old Testament. They have no idea about, they only knew Jehovah. The name of Jesus was not revealed to the Jews, though it is there from Genesis to Malachi. His name is spread out everywhere from first chapter, second chapter, third chapter. He sent his word, right? And created everything. Every chapter, you know, first chapter, second chapter. You're, 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 you know, talking about uh, releasing, uh, uh, what do you call? Uh, uh, your, you, you, the serpent will crush your head and your heel will crush Huh? Your heel will crush serpent's head and you will bite, the serpent will bite the heel. That's why many people, many of them have heel problem. They need to get healed in the heel, not only you, Sharon. Okay. Because everyone came early, she finished early. That's good. Okay. That's why your God has anointed you with the oil of gladness and lifted you above your companions. All of your clothing is drenched in the rich scent of myrrh, aloes, cassia, in palaces decked out with ivory, beautiful stringed instruments, play for your pleasure. And it talks about royal wedding with the daughters of the kings among the guests of honor. Your bride queen stands at the right Adorned in the gold from Ophir. Okay, that's right. Hear this daughter. 
talks about daughter pay close attention this is what i i am about to say are there any daughters in this house yeah. why you are all quiet okay <laughs> okay hey. daughters of god yeah it's better to be see it's all written about daughters nothing about sons it's better to be born a daughter and <laughs> your name written what to do enake adiya therapy adi enna pandrathu okay so it says hear this daughter pay close attention to what i'm about to say you must forget your people even your father's house that's a difficult part to digest you must leave your own people even your father's house ah hmm that's what that's not what genesis 224 says that's not what ephesians 525 says this is different there the boy has to leave his parents and cleave to the wife that's for the wedding but here when it comes to the king's wedding the girl has to leave and join with jesus the bridegroom amen which includes all of us so boys for your kind information we are all girls here <laughs> we are the bride is anybody part of the anybody a bride for the bridegroom jesus now you can lift your hand prakash don't be afraid i am not pulling your leg don't worry in the pakko enda adi varuma bayathla yeah don't worry i will not pull your leg today god bless you so we are all a bride preparing ourselves for the bridegroom who is waiting for almost 2000 years and he is not coming to marry a little girl a small girl because he doesn't believe in child marriage though some of you have not grown up to the level you need to grow up look at your neighbor and say grow up god wants a beautiful mature seasoned well groomed anointed sweet sweet smelling amen yeah not meat smelling huh? sweet smelling <laughs> just came back from are you live oh my god just came back from other part of the world mm starts from the airport okay nothing okay i didn't say anything okay let's go on i'll come back to this okay forget your people wow what a price to pay people who come from the other faiths they know what it is to forget your people shall we mm. yeah but to join with the king of kings what a small price to pay what a small what a small price to pay for such a great king some of us think oh my what a big sacrifice you made shut up we have not made any sacrifice compared to the sacrifice he has made leaving heaven to live on the dust and die like a slave treated like a slave kicked brutally wounded brutally by roman soldiers hit from head pull the skin apart for your sake you call that a sacrifice or what you are doing is a sacrifice for us the greatest sacrifice is to drag ourselves to the sunday morning service god i came to church today you better give me the prosperity blessing promotion you know what i'm saying even if you don't come he still has blessed us we come not to get blessed big we come because we are already blessed we come out of gratitude amen we come out of an attitude of gratitude wow for what he has done for us you must forget it says if you can if it's possible no hear this daughter somebody say daughter hear this daughter or rather say princess pay close attention to what i'm about to say 
you must forget your people even your father's house because the king yearns for your beauty longs for your beauty craves for your beauty humble yourself before him for he is now your lord for he is now your lord the daughter of tyre arrives with a gift never come to god without a gift the girl all she had was a wedding gift the alabaster box the perfume which she comes and breaks it and pours it just the feet why she allowed the rest of the body to be perfumed by you and by me with our worship no wonder no wonder all your clothing is drenched drenched you know what the meaning for the word drenched when you get really wet in the rain and again in the rain how many of you love to get wet in the rain yeah i love it but peacefully i'll start my bike after the rain comes and i go fast so that i can catch more rain get drenched in the rain yeah here we are not jesus is not getting drenched wet a slippery my goodness he, he all your clothing look at jesus all your clothing is drenched she only poured the perfume at the feet but here we pour the perfume on his head your worship that you did this morning is a perfume on his head is a perfume kashia you know anointed the word kashia means anointing yeah yeah aloes ma talk about ma wow aloes wow and the palaces decked with ivory what is our praise what is our worship it's ivory i don't know why i'm speaking again and again about worship you never saw worship from this angle from genesis to revelation you open it's all about worship it's all about worship amen you take one theme and you read it you find it everywhere you take another theme you read it you find it everywhere you take another theme you read it you find it from genesis any theme you talk about it just comes up from genesis to revelation talk about jesus from genesis to revelation talk about the holy spirit spirit of god hovered yeah water turn they say the book of esther they wanted to remove the book of esther because there's no mention of god no mention of god the word god doesn't appear anywhere in the book of esther so they removed that book and kept it aside not to include it in the torah or the, 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 the holy scriptures but then everywhere they read about the book of esther there was god working behind the scenes it may look like god is not there in your life he is working behind the scenes secretly hiding behind and working everything in your favor tell your neighbor in your favor god is working amen even though you go through labor even though you go through you know all this broken heart as is the psalms 42 or oh, yeah. i just see looking for words i find it broken heart yeah i remember times okay where is that singing yeah why am i why am i so overwrought who oh, am i why am i so disturbed why can't i just hope in god despite all my emotions i will believe and praise who saves me my god my god why is my soul so traumatized has anybody been through trauma has any been anybody been through broken heart situation wow you know all your waves break over me am i drowning psalms 42 so i look for scriptures i look for words and there it is right before me let's skip all that so my message this morning is our worship our worship our worship let me make a mention not the one which you do on sunday morning excluding this excluding this the worship that we do throughout the week which has to cost you something holiday anybody can come and worship because it's a holiday we are free at home can, let's go have some celebration but then on a weekday you are rushing to your office praise you lord traffic cannot stop me from worshiping me 
Traffic cannot stop me from reaching to office. No, no, no. Traffic cannot stop me from. I will not grumble. That guy who cut me and went in front, I praise you, Lord. He will stay alive. Protect him. Send my angels to guard him till he reaches. Who knows? He's going to a hospital. Anybody who rushes and cuts me, I immediately say, maybe this guy is going to hospital just to calm myself. <laughs> Otherwise. I will overtake him, find him where he is. I always say, this guy is rushing to hospital. Maybe his mother is. But he's not even, you know? Yeah, whatever. Okay. But when you praise God, that's when you slip and fall. Praise you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. My bones are. Not broken. None of my bones shall be broken. Amen? Crap, the enemy slipped from my feet. Praise him. Not in times of convenience. Praise him. He allows you to go through inconvenience. Why? Because he knows beforehand what will come out of your mouth. He knows. He knows that that praise that comes out of your mouth is a razor sharp arrow that's going to hit the enemy who put you into convenience. Hit that enemy who set it up. Little does he know that it is for his upset. Amen? The same enemy who was sent to upset you was a setup for you to praise you so that you can upset what the enemy sets up for you. That's amazing. That's my message this morning. Let me read this psalm because I don't know whether you'll go home and read this psalm. This psalm 45, I think I'm reading it after a long time. Particularly this version, I read it for the first time. Try to read the old psalms. Particularly the smallest chapter, Psalm 119. Somebody discovered this week, Pastor, 2 o'clock in the morning, you're asking me to read Psalm 119? Do you know any verse? I don't know, Pastor. Tomorrow morning you tell me. Pastor, that psalm you told me to read, it's got 176 verses, Pastor. That's all? Yeah, I wish there was more. I had to stay awake till 5 in the morning. If the enemy, I love the devil. Are we on record? Praise the Lord. Put it on Twitter. Put it on Facebook. Put it. He loves to keep me awake so that I can read the word of God. Good job, devil. Keep doing it. There's a way to make the enemy work for you. Why do you work for money? Make money work for you. Money is your enemy? No, make him a friend. Make the devil work for you. If I stop it, that's a lesson you have learned for life. Don't bind him. Release him. Send him out to go bring new souls. Stop binding the devil in your house. Let me ask you a question. You've been saved for some donkey years. How many souls have you brought to Christ? I asked the same question too. You've been living in Bangalore. Have you brought your own family to come, come once to our church and see what happens if they are believers? Don't bring unbelievers to me. That's a wrong thing to do. You will get the shot. I'm not here to preach the gospel to unbelievers. That's your job. Pastor's no, job is not to give birth to sheep. His job is to train shepherds. Tell your neighbor, that's not for me, that's for you. 
You are a shepherd. Yes. Amen. My job is to train you. If King's Embassy is not growing with new souls, not new babies. Pastor, I'm also birthing babies. I am playing a major role in helping the growth of the church. God bless your heart. We are all playing a major role. King's Embassy is bubbling with babies. <laughs> Bursting through the seams. Babies, babies, babies. Everywhere I see, babies, babies, babies. That's not the babies I'm talking to you about. Very simple. If you can give birth to these babies, it's more easier to give birth to the spiritual babies. Much more easier. You understand what I'm saying? Just obey. I often say this. Familiarity. Not only breeds contempt, breeds babies. Breeds children. So get familiar with people. Bring them into the intimacy of relationship with Jesus. Your lifestyle, your worship. And you are worshiping in the office that's not allowed. But who can stop you from singing a love song to your beloved? Can anyone say, stop you from humming? Can someone stop you from smiling? Can someone stop you from just Psalms 45 1? Psalms 45 1, someone. Oh, let me finish. My heart is bursting with the old song we sang on Sunday. The other day she was standing in the kitchen and said, somebody, who was that? Why didn't you compose new songs? Somebody said that from the kitchen, you only. And I was sitting there with the chicken, you know. And then we just, I just blurted out, burst out. After 20 years of silence. And that becomes a beautiful song. And immediately Dave jumps in with the guitar. Joanna comes with the other tune. And she comes up. He says, let me all come and make it as wonderful as possible. And they all put in together and said, that's a beautiful song. Just three or four lines. We got it on her voice memo. She put amazing tune. She didn't also think or plan. Just like that we were sitting at home not in a holy atmosphere, worshiping, praying, crying, God. No, just like that casually while we were eating, having food. Does happen to you, right, Stalin? So many times. Not when you're praying, when you're driving, when you're going, ugh, the tune comes and he's thinking, I wish I'd recorded all that. Yeah, you should always keep your voice recorder on, yeah? And it may be the dumbest tune, no problem. Record it. We always want the better and the best. God never gives the better and the best unless you accept everything that comes from above is good and perfect. Though it may look ugly in your own ears. It may look very because our human ear is strained to look down at ourselves, our voice. So many times, honestly, before camera, two cameras, one more camera was there. But the camera, I sometimes, I curse my own voice. Is that my voice? I don't want my voice deleted. You know, I don't like my voice because why? Let's read this verse. Let's get serious. My heart is bursting with a new song. Tell your neighbor, your heart will burst. When does normally the balloon burst? Full and 
somebody you need somebody who can poke you ah huh? you need to be poked that's what i meant okay my heart my heart never expect songs to come from your skull from your mind don't think premeditate ponder that it has to come from your head it has to come from your spirit from your heart songs always come from your heart when your mind is totally disturbed and poked i don't know to whom i'm talking talking to myself sister you you feel it's for you thank you so much one person i'm glad my heart is bursting it's always your heart and it always has to full overflowing bursting when it comes with a new song lyrics to my king erupt like a spring lyrics to my king now the focus is not the album studio youtube you are not composing a facebook live youtube live albums no i'm not talking about composing song but when you sing a new song to god expect it to be truly untuned out of tune un english and scrupulous this heaven confusing praise god amen that is the one god will use simple song like hallelujah tune i always sing only one line and i keep singing and and singing and singing till the power of god hits the place cancers disappear tumors disappear people get delivered because god is not interested about our song is interested yeah help me somebody your heart how much you throng to the throne yeah that was my tune okay okay yeah my king okay lyrics to my king why did you ever give this bible okay bible ungal kurta thirupi enike kudukuradha okay athukra okay lyrics to my king erupt like a spring for my king to my king the emphasis to my king to my king not for the sound for the audience not for anybody in my house not for anyone for my king i don't care how undignified how stupid how unscrupulous how unenglish how illiterate it may be and musical it may be some people are so conscious about rhythm timing meter ha huh? but god is not interested about timing it's being interested in sensitive to his timing wa well, i wish i had more time to talk my tongue is like a pen of a poet and i will ra- not remain quiet ready and willing better by far are you than all others my king i don't know this man must have had a bitter experience bad experience trying to impress people with his songs didn't happen and he knew there was one person was willing to listen to his voice to his song and that was the king this guy does not know who is that king he's talking about but still he was faithful to sing to that king which is inspired to sing Isn't it amazing? We know the king and we still not composing. We only decomposing. The one who does not sing nor composing is only stinks. DK. I was telling someone yesterday If you have not won your own family 
with your life, with your song, and they do not find out what is your secret of your joy, what is the secret of your prosperity, what is the secret that you're prospering and you're victorious, and they try to walk behind you, spy you, and find out where you are going on that Sunday morning, or where are you spending time with God, and if they in spite of all your secrecy, in spite of hiding your king, and they find out who your king is all about. It's not worth following the king. You understand what I'm saying? If they don't find out by the song that you sing, and the song that you're composing, and they do not find it inspiring, and if they're not willing to come following, to see you speaking to the king, then it's not worth it. On the contrary, if you can win your own family to God, your, tes big, your testimony, you shall be witnesses unto me, not for me. No, I think you missed it. Never give witness for the Lord. Don't give testimony. What the Lord is now, this is totally opposite of all that we heard. That is not opposite to what is in the word. I rather stick to word than what you heard. Oh, Sachi Pui Solu. Sola there. Angla, Una Kulu, and Kandu Kulu. Let them kill you and find out. What is a secret? Man, are you understanding what I'm saying? They need to find out your testimony unto the Lord. You shall be witnesses unto me. So our job is only to testify to the Lord of his faithfulness, of his goodness, if they over here, that's their problem. Try your best that nobody finds out your intimacy with God, your relationship with God. Try your best, but it will always burst through the seams. It will always overflow. It will make your anointing on you, will make someone slip and fall before the king. Your anointing has to make the devil slip and that you escape from his grip and he will have a trip that trip will help him to make a new song on his lip to Jesus he will confess with his lip that he looking at you those people he was a president there was a man I don't want to mention his name there was a man in the history of mankind who ruled over 127 countries not district, street. I'm also president for my own club. President of the Resident Association. <laughs> this guy, they have an attitude. You know the president of the resident? Who are you? This old building. I'm the president. <laughs> Association president, sir. The watchman will open the gate, both of the gate. How many people are there? The watchman will run and press the lift. This happened in Hyderabad, whether you people noticed or not. I don't know. We went to a house who was a president, and the watchman will come and tie him. Pastor, in the full building, I am the president. I am not the lift to Valis. I said, What an attitude. Yeah. They realized this guy has got an attitude. All other presidents before him, they messed up the building. After they handed it over to the youngest man, everything is in order. Why? He worships a president of all presidents, the king of all kings. You can show your attitude in your small apartment, no problem. Praise the Lord. But this man, I'm talking about a president of 127 countries, 
127 countries and all the governors all the other guys have to come and report to him personally of the amount of wealth they are bringing the taxes they are bringing he was in charge of the it income tax and he was in charge of the treasury of the king and he checks every bill every bill day in day i mean this office hours and then here and there he slips for a cup of tea nobody knows where he goes till they want to bring him down they find out that he goes to a secret what made him a slave what made him a king over 127 countries all he did was he had a thousand people worship choir in his house no he was alone towards facing towards the east to the east towards jerusalem open the window knelt down and he worshiped god this fellows have to climb the opposite building from there and look through a binocular oh my god the secret of this man's prosperity was he worships the king of kings the president of all presidents five times a day in the spite of his easy schedule if you could do it if i could do it why you why not me i hope you understand what i'm saying the word for this morning razor sharp arrows right razor sharp arrows leap from his bow to pierce we are all sharp arrows not sparrow worrying about tomorrow afraid of pharaoh fly like a sparrow i am also worshiping god eagle i am also worshiping with you you have a wing i also have a wing and when the rain comes we know the sparrow will look for a furrow and the bird the hide in the burrow you know what i'm saying no way we are eagles eagles they get excited elated when they look at the storm brewing black clouds yes black clouds not cow sorry black i saw a black cow this morning it's been in my mind and it, so inviting it was oh my god so delicious it looked oh god okay still standing near my car around open the dicky dum but this was a black cloud eagles love the black clouds uses the cloud uses the wind uses the storm to raise about i have two more minutes one minute 12 i'll finish raise a sharp i was reading this reading this wow the daughter stunning bride a king's daughter waits within her clothing is skillfully woven with gold she in her richly embroidered gown is carried to the king a virgin companions following close behind they walk in a spirit of celebration and gratefulness in delight they enter the palace of the king O king in this place where ancestors reigned you will have sons you will make them princes throughout all the land i will make sure your name is remembered by all future generations so that the people will offer thanks and praise talks about go runs into 46 talking about i was just walking up and down and i read this verse and i was biting my nails it says verse 2 no fear no pacing no biting fingernails is there in the voice it's in the voice translation psalms 46 verse 2 no biting fingernails when the earth spins out of control now this is a prophetic word because regina said you want to hear the voice of god so you can all switch off your ears this is for the earth for the atmosphere for the global things that are happening you know even huge heavy winds heavy wind 
when the earth spins out of control we are sure and fearless when mountains crumble and waters run wild we are sure and fearless even in heavy winds and huge waves or the mountains shake we are sure and fearless pass a stream that flows the worship is a stream bringing joy to the city we are the city where god makes his home where god makes his home we are a city a true god never sleeps and always resides in the city of joy he makes it he makes us unstoppable unshakable unstoppable unshakable invincible when it awakens at dawn the true god has already been at work god is working let me wind this up trouble is on the horizon or the outside wow trouble is on the horizon this morning normally sunday mornings i don't read the newspapers against my principles to read newspaper yeah i read only the newspaper okay today i broke the law hallelujah broke the spirit of religion and i took the newspaper before reading the bible don't do it okay that's only applicable for me you read the bible okay and i i i i i read it the first word that came to me hit me was without before before reading the paper i don't have to read the bible to hear from god i don't have to open the bible and then god speak to me while i before i even read the newspaper i read the other headlines from heaven okay because of the grace and the office that god has given me so the first i word i heard was trump is in trouble trouble or trump and that's why trump is in trouble then i remember the kim clements prophecy god will 2004 2007 where he said the trump god will bring the trump and blow the trumpet kim clement even before president trump things of presidential nomination way back he still prophesying in heaven god bless you kim clement he still declaring it's easier to prophesy from heaven than on earth it's easier to prophesy so i remember that and then as i was about to open the paper then i read an article uh, 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 okay this may look like you know yeah irrelevant but it's more relevant to what the message that i'm speaking it says about all the things that's happening and he says if you guys try to impeach me the whole world is going to be messed up and they want to dig out his old files that files this files what happened Hundred years back and everything, and and they're blowing it out of proportion. And there's an there's an Indian journalist who who doesn't even know the spelling of certain words. There's so much spell error, and there's so much of words that are missing. And he typed it in a frantic, uh, demonic kind of a spirit, and uh, publishing some an article against so many things that uh, what, against what God has spoken, and releasing that. And I say in the name of Jesus, every word that's been spoken against the word of God. I cancel it in the name of Jesus and my spirit rose up and I said Lord where are the razor sharp arrows that you're raising that's going to demolish the powers of darkness around the world razor sharp arrows raise and we will decree and he said God said flashback rewind yesterday there was a lot of arrows were shot when tanuha comes when keith was leading worship the presence was so thick so amazing i mean some of us could not stand because of the glory of god literally tanuha went spinning in the presence of god and boom she was hit by an angel and she was on the floor worshiping god you would not know you were just closing your eyes and singing the hand is the kingdom the power and the glory and you're worshiping just few of us handful of us just worshiping you know the breakthrough happens in breakthrough worship worship breakthrough happens during work breakthrough worship so as we were worshiping and god said you know yesterday last night there were a lot of arrows were shot i said where where what what's happening where i did not know anything it was in the worship so many arrows were shot she was so soaked in the presence and she comes and takes the mic and 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 prays a prophetic prayer intercessory the youngest in our church I mean, of course there are other young people you know of those who come and take the mic 
and she comes and, 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 and prophesies and declares and makes an intercessor. I wish I recorded it. It was so powerful and proclaiming liberty for India. It's not, it's many people do this freedom prayer till the Independence Day comes, like Mother's Day, they celebrate once a year. In my house, we celebrate every day. Somebody, Dave, Joanna, don't let me down. We celebrate Mother's Day every day. Amen. We celebrate Father's Day every day. We celebrate Children's Day. We celebrate our children. Every day. It's not on number. Ask Mahadev. He celebrates every day. He gets up in the morning with a song in his heart, with a song in his hand, with a song bubbling joyful. First look, earlier it was TV. Now, no more. First and the last look is the baby. Wow. Celebrate, celebrate, celebrate. Children, we celebrate Children's Day not on November. Someone's birthday. Why should we steal someone's birthday and give it to the children? No, of course. God bless him. Okay. <laughs> but we celebrate. I mean, look at this word, day of prayer. What do you mean day of prayer? Global day of prayer. Means at least one day in a year, we all pray. That's not true, right? Every day, we pray. Amen? So, so that's what it says. God was telling me, you know, there the were arrows that were shot. So immediately, you know, God said, give credit to whom it's due. Appreciate people. I mean, we don't flatter. In King's Embassy, we don't believe in flat tire, flattery. Yeah? We, we really honor people. I don't know how many of you are in King's Embassy Church. Yeah. Okay, I posted something and went down. Oh my goodness. Okay. Yeah. Yesterday's breakthrough worship was amazing. Thank you, Keith, for leading us into the throne room. Intercession by Tanuha was another level, authoritative. Cherry on the cake was a word released by Jennifer. What psalm was that, Psalms? 85. Amazing psalm. Wow. Talks about Zion. Look, I better have five smooth stones that can bring Goliath down than have mountain moving generals that are immovable. Yeah, that's nice. That's me. That's me. Me, me, me. Everyone in KE is a sharp, smooth stone and a sharp, polished arrow in the hands of God. Sharp, polished arrow in everyone in KE is a sharp. Come on, somebody. Everyone, if I was in Nigeria, they would all stood up and clap their hands and shouted. Come on, stand up, everybody. Everyone in KE, I'm prophesying over you. Why didn't you take it by faith? Why didn't you take it by faith? I am a sharp... What was that? Polished. Say, I am sharp. Polished. What sharp? Razor sharp. Glittering sharp. I am a polished... Trabula. No, not this. Don't look there. Don't look there. Don't get distracted. I am a... Isaiah 45. 4, yeah? Yeah, I am a sharp... Uh, Polished, razor sharp, arrow in the hand of God, ready to shoot every Goliath. Amen. Hallelujah. We have to prophesy. We have to declare. We have to decree. We have to speak. We have to release those words. Amen. Uh, we are talking about Psalms 45. Can I, today I took the paper and God said, Sh shoot polished arrows everyone in key let's read it together everyone in key is a sharp tell your neighbor that's me that's me put your name over there and say me your name is not me me goring like stop eating me <laughs> me is what noodles yeah me okay stop eating me okay yeah yeah, soup, okay, noodles. Put your name. Say, Joshua Paul. Say, everybody. Joshua Paul. Is a sharp. Why you have to put my name? Come on, put your name. Joshua Paul. Is a sharp. Smooth. Stone. 
and a sharp polished arrow in the hands of God. Hallelujah. Wow. Why did I put the word sharp and smooth? Stone. Oxymoron. Whoa. Uh, it's a pentagonal. Okay. Uh, you kind of, you hold it smooth, but the other edges sharp. Ready. Amen? Mm. So, we are polished. I mean, where did David find the smooth stone? Stream, Isaiah 46. What is stream talking about? Worship, continuous. Not in a pond. I hope you understand what I'm saying. Continuous. Why do we have continuous worship? Week after week, day after day, sometimes 50 hours, 100 hours, crazy as the pastor is. Crazy worshippers for Jesus. Amen. Amen. We are in the stream. We are in the river. We are not in the pond. We are in the river. And every river will go to the sea to catch the fishes in the sea. We don't catch fish in the... in the aquarium. Don't bring fishes that have, have a stunted growth in the aquarium. Somebody told me, if, Prem, uh, correct me if I'm wrong. If you put a, a big shark or a big long fish, it's, you know, a, a fish that has the ability to grow long, when it is small, you put it in a small aquarium, what? Tank. It cannot grow longer. It limits its growth, stunts its growth, so that it has to keep growing. Is that right or wrong? To adapt itself in that form. But what do we do? We take the, the fish which has the caliber, capacity, ability to grow longer, okay? And stronger because it's innate, it's in its DNA. Take that and put it in a huge aquarium or in a river, it grows longer. It, it, it expands itself. Nothing can stop its growth. That's one of the reasons why we want to get you out of limited thinking and put you in a place called marketplace where you can grow longer and stronger and you can devour all of the fishes. Amen? Big fishes. Survive on? Yeah. David did not take the, take the Ark of the Covenant to another remote place where it's quiet and calm. No, he brought the Ark of the Covenant from the remote to the heart of the city. We, th that's what Psalms 46 talks about. I am putting everything in a nutshell. Let's praise God. Can I have the worship team over here? Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. We praise you. We worship you, Lord. Thank you. I've said so many things. I hope you people uh, glean it and read those things uh, and prophesy over America, prophesy over South Korea, prophesy over North Korea. We are making global impact. Amen. King's Embassy is not limited only to, 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 to Bangalore, Kamanali, India. We are not self-centered people. Tell your neighbor, we are not self-centered. We are global-centered. We are word-centered. We are Christ-centered. Amen. As I often say, we are not pastor-centered church, you know. We are Christ-centered. So, so you don't have to limit yourself to, to, to your geographical or mental or, or your territorial or your, you know, occupational, your vocational, V-O-C-A-T-I-O-N, okay. Vocation is your, not vacation. Don't think about your vacation. Your vocation is your profession. It's not limited to your vocation, but you, you are, we, are, we are unlimited as God is. We are unlimited as kingdom of heaven is. We are unlimited as the holy angels are. Amen. So, so, so we are called for a global impact. Tell your neighbor, we are called, we are called for, a impact. for a global impact. We are chosen, we are chosen as smooth stones, as smooth stones. polished in the hands of God, hands sharp of God. stones, Sharp arrows, golden arrows, razor sharp. We are razor sharp arrows, ready to be shot at the enemy. We are not going to allow rust 
to gather while we are at rest but god has entrusted this great anointing this great oil oil of gladness while we worship god we pour oil in the head of jesus jesus gets drenched his robe gets drenched his clothes gets drenched with the oil of myrrh of aloes cassia frankincense let's 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 bash god i mean what do you mean bash in the sense like let's dump god with the oil let's dump all the oil on him let's dump all the oil truck lord yeah you know i'm thinking about the birthday bash you know i'm thinking about how they 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 they, they celebrate you know let's all pounds on jesus you know and and get him you know filled with love filled with joy filled with you know yeah it's not all the time we receive his love receive we can give back love amen we can show back the love amen hallelujah thank you god thank you god thank you thank you lord jesus can you sing the song great are you lord you know the song yeah great are you lord it's your breath you bring life you are love. Our hearts will cry, these bones will sing. 
Lord your praise our hearts will cry these bones will sing great are you Lord God just declare it declare it 